Scott's our uh, service manager in Oakwood Village. Scott, people uh, treat their motorcycles a little bit differently than they do their cars in that although you can ride most of the year with the proper equipment, a lot of people store their bikes for a few months during the winter. There's got to be some certain things that you do to your motorcycle to get it ready for fall, get it ready for spring. Can you go through some of that with us? Sure. First thing you want to start with is checking your tire pressures. Uh, even though you haven't ridden your bike all winter, uh, your tires will lose air. So refer to your owner's manual, get the correct spec on your tire pressures and set them accordingly. Uh, next you want to check all your fluids. Uh, check your oil, uh, your front and rear brake fluids, and your coolant as well. Make sure they're all uh, in a safe condition. Um, then you also want to check your front and rear suspension. Uh, make sure your front forks, your rear shocks, make sure there's no signs of leaking um, that would cause you any problems down the road. Uh, also a good idea, take a look at your brake pads, make sure they're in good shape, and then get prepared to uh, start your bike. Uh, make sure your battery's got a full charge on it so that uh, you won't drain that down because it may take a few tries to get it to fire up after sitting. Uh, you want to make sure your fuel is turned to the on position and that your ignition switch is also in the on position before you turn your key on. Uh, after you turn your key on, uh, next go to your starter button. Uh, again, it may take several tries to get it to fire up, so don't be concerned if it doesn't uh, start on the first try. Um, if you winterized your bike appropriately in the fall, uh, you should have no problems getting it started. Um, if you did not winterize it, one thing you may want to do before you try to start is to drain your carburetors. Uh, there's a screw on each carburetor. Uh, you simply just drain the fuel out of them, top off your tank with some fresh fuel, and charge your battery. Uh, if after doing that you still can't get the bike started, uh, you may have an issue in the carburetors that needs to be checked by a technician. Um, you can uh, feel free to bring the bike in to us or uh, you know, call us up and make an appointment and let us take a look at it. Uh, maybe a simple adjustment will take care of it or possibly some internal carb work. Um, but that uh, should get you going on the road. And is there something that you can do to the fuel that's in your fuel tank to uh, keep it preserved for, for sure. the spray? Sure, there's a fuel stabilizer. A uh, small bottle of fuel stabilizer will more than, than cover the amount of fuel this, this bike will hold in the tank. Um, directions are right on the bottle. We sell it here uh, at Ohio Motorcycle. Um, just add that right into your tank. If it's a fuel injected bike, you can run the bike afterwards to get the fuel down through the lines and the injectors and keep that fuel from going bad while you're sitting over the winter. And how about keeping your bike looking as good as this bike over the winter? Well, you can keep it covered to keep dust off of it. Uh, you can also use polish, uh, put a nice coat of polish on it. Uh, you also want to check your tire pressures before you put it away uh, so you avoid flat spots on your tires. Thanks. Thank you.